So if you're running Steam through Crossover, so this is Crossover 22 being run on the Apple Silicon Mac, then when you try to log in, you might be met with this black screen. So today I'm going to show you how to fix this issue so that you can log into Windows Steam on the Apple Silicon Mac using the Crossover software. So if you don't actually have Crossover, then you can follow the link in the description for my video tutorial. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to log into Steam and then bypass this problem. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So firstly, what we're going to do is to close Steam down and then we're going to go ahead and select the Steam bottle that we created. I'm going to scroll to the top of this side here and then we're going to click on the Steam icon for the application that's installed and then we'll click this button run with options. And then this is going to allow us to enter command line options. So we want to control click and then press the paste button here and then we're going to enter this code, which I'm going to leave in the description. So dash UDP force dash no react login dash allo searches dash CEF dash force dash 32 bit. And basically the really important one here is no react login. That's because Steam has a new login window and this is going to force compatibility and use the older version. So anyway, I'm going to paste that in and then I'm going to press the run button and just wait for that to launch. And basically we forced the old Steam login button here. So the newer Steam login button has a QR code on the side and allows you to log in through the mobile app. However, this is forcing the old way of logging into Steam. So anyway, you can now log into Steam as normal. I hope you found this video useful. Big thanks to GCENX for helping to provide this fix. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.